YouTube, what up? It's your man 21, truck driver to the stars, aka the flyest truck driver on YouTube, aka I almost overslept and missed my money, and aka just a cool motherfucker. What are we talking about today? Oh shit, I just lost my teleprompter. I don't even know what we're talking about. AKA I'm bullshitting. I don't use a teleprompter. We're doing this live. We're talking about picking up a load that someone booked from an auction yard. Stay tuned to the video. Sorry, it's DJ. What up guys? So, I want to talk about, this is going to be a quick video, I'm not going to make this long, aka it's going to be a long ass video. So, I picked up a load, okay so I was using this dispatcher lady and she found me, I was in, where was I? I was in Midland, Odessa, Texas. So, so I hit her up because I couldn't find anything on any of the load boards. So I said, hey, can you find me a load going anywhere? I want to pick up within 120 miles, right? So she was like, hey, I got you a load and it's right where you're located. So she found me a load and I was like, okay, how much does it pay? When does it pick up? When does it deliver? Just the pertinent information. How heavy is it? So she sends me over the information and apparently I missed a part that said like auction house or whatever. So I go pick up the load and it was from a freaking auction place. It was this trailer right here. So I go pick up this load, it's from the auction house. I'm just gonna tell you guys, don't ever bid or accept a load from an auction house unless they can 100% tell you like everything is good, the trailer's roll worthiness, or if you're picking up a, a, a truck and you're gonna drive it, unless they can tell you 100% that is roll worthiness. Listen, I got hosed over on this crap, okay? The tires, five of the six tires, or wait, two, four, six, eight, five, five of the six tires. I don't even have any tires on a freaking trailer. Five of the eight tires on the trailer was not DLT legal. Some of them was so freaking ball, it was showing the, 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 the wires on the tire. Man, this thing was a piece of shit. I was just like, how did I get myself mixed up into this? So yeah, so I ended up not being able to pull that trailer that day. And it had an air leak also. So they came out allegedly. <sighs> so they came out and allegedly fixed the air leak. And they replaced all the tires. I guess the other tires were bad. So they just put all new tires. So great. I got all new tires. And the guy was like, oh yeah, the air leaks is fixed, right? So... I go back the next morning, the auction house opened up at like 0800. I get there at like 0815, hook up to the trailer, do my inspection, take all the pictures I need to take, go to leave, tires won't roll. It still had a freaking air leak. The air was leaking from like up top, like where the, uh, the, the, the capacitor is, right below like right on, right below the tank itself. So I had to wait damn near all day. They finally replaced that. Then I drove the trailer up to Denver, got to Denver at like 0215. Man, let me tell you guys a bit of advice. If you are new, even if you're not a new uh, 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 authority guy, don't take loads from like any of these auction places, like the Richie Bros, the uh, Premier Auction House, um, what's that other one, Co Co Coparts? I think Coparts only for cars. But guys, don't take stuff from auction houses. Taking stuff from the auction house, I can guarantee you, when you get, unless you're a flatbed driver, 
and you're gonna load whatever equipment you're picking up onto your flatbed, then then you don't give a shit about it. But if you're gonna tow that shit away, don't do it, guys. I'm telling you, you're gonna lead yourself in a bad situation. Oh, also, can someone help me find a trailer I can rent? I need a 53 foot drive-in trailer I can rent. If anybody knows people that rent trailers or if you yourself is renting trailers, I will gladly pay you. I need a freaking trailer to rent. I see rates out here. If you got your own trailer, and rates are freaking amazing. I'm only on a roll for another two weeks, so uh, I would prefer to pick up the trailer in mid-July. And yeah, so if anybody knows where I can rent a trailer or if you yourself rent trailers, please contact me. I will leave my email in the description of this video. And also I'll leave my IG. So please get in contact with me and I would love to rent your trailer, all right? Guys, this was a quick video. I'm gonna add on some more to this video because it was only six minutes long. So I'm gonna add more onto this video and I will see you in the next frame. It's your man 21, truck driver to the stars, AKA the flyest truck driver on YouTube, AKA I got a new camera set up, AKA just a cool motherfucker. So what is going on guys? It is early in the morning on a Monday and I am down here in Southern California on my way to go pick up a load and take that over to uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Um, let's see, I just picked up my empty trailer and I'm heading over to pick up the loaded trailer. It's, uh, it's a dropper hook. It's like 39 miles away. Um, so not too bad. I wanted to get up super early so I can get this driving going because we all know how traffic is down in SoCal. It is the worst. So I'm going to go over here, pick up this load, head into Phoenix and then from Phoenix, uh, going up to North Vegas, back over to Southern California. I'm gonna try to see if I can find a quick hit from SoCal back to Vegas and get me home. If not, then I will probably just uh, dead head from SoCal back to Vegas because I'll be like so far south, so it won't really matter. I just do a little dead head real quick and I'll uh, be good to go. So just wanted to check y'all out and um yeah i'm loving this new camera setup i hope once i go once this goes into um uh post-production that everything looks super good and everything sounds good um so we don't know i maybe i just been talking for the last couple minutes and talking to nobody so eh, we'll see we shall see what happens so i'm about to get on 210 and I will talk to y'all on my ride over to Phoenix. So I made it over here to the Phoenix area, or not even area, I'm in Phoenix now. God damn, these roads are raggedy. This is damn roads, Arizona. And so I'm about to jump off the interstate and go and drop off this loaded trailer, pick me up an empty, and then head to the truck stop. Um, so yeah hopefully that this recording came out really well um, i'm gonna mix all this stuff down when i get to the truck stop and see how everything came out so i guess at that point we will find out how this crap sounds um I really like this new camera angle though because it works out. I can talk to you guys, kind of talk about what's on my mind as I'm driving. So that's pretty dope. Um, what else? I'm going home this week. Actually, I got a load picking up tomorrow going to Vegas. And I'm going to uh, go by the house, go get a haircut, and just kind of shortcut some of this stuff. So when I go home in a few days after tomorrow, then I already got a haircut. I'm already fly looking. I can just jump in a coupe and just go roll and do my thing. All right. So I'm going to get over here, drop off this load, and I'm out of this joint. So it's your man 21, truck driver to the stars, aka the flyest truck driver on YouTube, aka I'm about to drop off this load, and aka just a cool motherfucker. I will holler at y'all on the next one. Peace.